Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. What do we know about this veteran actress, Tola Oladokun? Her name is Owamitola Oladokun, but she's popularly known as Ikalomo Iju. She's unarguably a seasoned actress. She was born in Igongo, a town in Ibarapa in Oyo State. Over 52 years ago, she had her primary and secondary school education in Oyo State. She attended Methodist Primary School and the Gogo High School, respectively. She had to stop her education after her secondary education because she's from a polygamous home and her father had four wives. Her mother was the first wife, but then when the second wife came in, things changed and her father didn't want to send her to school again. Also, her mother was financially powerless at that time. So when she saw how things were difficult for her mother, she decided to go and learn a trade. And then she learned fabric selling. After her apprenticeship, she started selling fabrics. So what made her go into acting? She had loved acting right from her school days. She remembers that during festivities in their church, she used to act different roles, even to the extent of acting like a man. In which case, she used to use her father's clothes as costumes. But then, it was when she got to Ibadan that she got inspired by Deji and they were popularly known as Olofano to start acting professionally. Then, they were living at Lalupo and Chifa Deremi used to come there often. One day, she approached him and told him that she was interested in acting. She was still selling fabrics then. The first film that she participated in was a large Duyasi, Ariba Buos film, Tibitire. We were this veteran actor's role model in the industry. She had quite a number of them, including the Jadremi, Edaoni Liola, Babawande, Buki Ajayi, Mama Rimbo, and the Yaweru. She said those are people I always try to emulate, whose professional lives are worthy of emulation. It was Baba Wande's movie, Kalomo Ejo, that shot her into the limelight. Since then, she has partaken in it. Since then, she has partaken in several global Hollywood movies. Let's talk about her personal life. It was while she was selling fabrics that she met her first husband, Samuel Adeogu. He's late now. He's also from Igongo, and he was a member of the Methodist Church, just like her family. That was where they met and eventually got married. But some things happened after some times. Her late husband and her father had some misunderstanding. And then her father ordered her to leave him. She said she was so young then and then experienced that she also left him. And she confessed that if she had been older, then maybe she wouldn't have left him. That he was also young at that time. It was about 15 years after she left him that he passed him. After leaving him, she left Igogo for Ibada. Before then, she had been wooed by a police officer who served in their town. Initially, she had thought that she and her husband were reconciled. But when her child was about 10 years old, there was no sign of reconciliation. So she agreed to marry the police officer and together they left for Ibadan. On her family's reaction, when she decided to take up acting as a profession, she said, before people started misinforming my husband, he supported me. In fact, he liked the job. He even went as far as getting roles for me because he knew some of the renowned producers then. But people started creating doubts in his mind, telling him that he allowed his beautiful wife to go out and mix with other people, men inclusive. That was when he changed his mind towards my job. He loved it initially and my children too. They liked what I do. Even my parents and siblings, they all know I wholly love acting and that I also had my trade, she said. When she was asked if she is fulfilled, she revealed that when I joined, I didn't even expect any financial gain. I just love to be seen acting. Therefore, when money started coming in, it made things easier for me. I told you that my first husband is dead. He died in 2000. And our child had just finished from secondary school then. It was after that that she gained admission to the Catholic School of Nursing in Oluyora. And I was able to see her through from the proceeds of acting. I have a car and to God be the glory. also completed my house. All from acting. I've gained a lot. The profession pays me and I thank God my creator for this she said. How does she use the word of persistent male admirers? In her words, it is by wisdom. I don't snub them, but I don't give them too much attention either. By the time a woman fails to make an appointment, like three consecutive times, standing at day top, such a date would read between the lines and find his way. He may not be saying, is she the only woman in the world? And all that, but at least, you as a woman, have not entered into a relationship you don't want. I'm not calling myself a saint here, but I know how to go about it without injuring 
my pride, she said. So what is her beauty secret? She does not have any beauty secrets per se. She revealed that I don't even have any special food. I may stay without eating till 2, 3 p.m. But I drink a lot of water. I take about three glasses of water when I wake up in the morning. I don't have any regimen. Some of the movies she has featured in include Okonjua, Atono, and Okunfei. When she was asked why some entertainers don't have good homes, she had this to say. The reason why some actresses don't have stable homes is because as entertainers, there is every tendency for people to say negative things about us to our spouses due to the nature of the job. Some women don't know how to endure when there are such accusations. They allow the issue to get the better part of them and then end up misbehaving. However, there are some women who come into the industry with the aim of having an affair with an actor they had admired from afar. So those types of people usually don't have a direction as regards their career. There are different types of people in the industry. Even if a couple is in the movie industry together, if they don't manage their home, it would not last, she said. She also opened up on why she would never be caught playing a romantic role in any movie. She said, when I started building my career in the movie industry, even though my husband didn't want me to take many sins, my boss always insisted that I should. But when it's got to a point, some people began to spread rumors about me. They told my husband that actors always sleep with each other on set. Due to speculations, it gave me very strict rules to abide by any time. I had to go on set. At some point, he said I had to choose between my career and my home. I chose my home for peace to reign. But I still acted in a few films only because I abided by all the rules he set for the sake of peace. Subsequently, when the negative gossips about me increased, he said I shouldn't act again. But I asked our family members to help me beg him. My husband and dote on me a lot and he tells everyone who cares to listen that he loves me very much. Some people have this notion that actors don't have lasting marriages but despite the issues I had in my marriage, I endured. I'm a very decent woman. I don't even keep too many friends because of my husband's rules. I don't feature in romantic movies because anytime my husband sees me in a bedroom scene, he's always angry. There was a time I acted as a wife in a movie and he complained about how I walked in front of an actor. He wasn't happy about it. They hardly cast me for such rules and even if they do, the man will not touch me on bed at all, she said. Apart from being an actress, she also used to co-anchor a request program on radio in her dialect. But then why did she stop? She revealed that it happened that for some time I was off the program because my father was sick. And being the first child, I had to stay by and take care of him. So I couldn't anchor the program during that period until my father breathed his last. After his death, I went back to the radio station and your guys asked me to write a letter to indicate that I had come back. I wrote the letter and they said I should be ready to present the following episode. On a Monday, two days to the day of the program because it's aired on Wednesday. I called to confirm. That was when I was told that the producer said I shouldn't have addressed the letter to those I addressed it to. That I should have addressed it to him. I was in this program just to promote my dialect. It was not convenient. No matter how far the location, I had to be in Ibadan on Wednesday for the program. I was paid for each episode, but it did not even cover transportation from location and back. Since I was going out of my way to anchor the program purely for the love of my dialect and not for the pecuniary reward. And they were now saying all that. I just decided to leave it at that. That was what happened. She was asked if she could remember any prank that she played as a little girl. And she revealed that she was not allowed to play any pranks. Her father was a strict disciplinarian. He didn't condone any frivolity. As a young girl, she was not even allowed to make friends. She was always indoors after school. It was that serious. And that is why, till today, she doesn't really have friends. Neither is she a party freak. This, however, does not mean that she does not socialize at all. But she's just not used to going to parties for a whole day. Whenever any of her colleagues is celebrating, she makes sure she attends and gives the celebrants a token. Spend like two hours and take her leave. No more, no less. So what's her favorite color? Her favorite colors are white and blue. There was a time she did a rendition of Bible passages titled Agbara Row. It was not a brainchild. She was called upon to do it. The person behind this project also invited her to do another one. But then she turned the offer down for some reasons. And she also disclosed that she does not intend to go into singing. And this actually also revealed that at a certain age, she's going to retire. We are coming to the end of this episode on this veteran Yoruba actress, Owamitola Olandoku, who is popularly known as we hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.